Hello. Hi, Victoria. It's Erica from Christmas Spirit 105.3. Hi. It's so nice to meet you over the phone. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. We heard you've got a Christmas wish. Yeah. So I retired from the Navy last year, and my family, they live in California, and I settled with my husband in Washington. It's my first Christmas that I would be without my parents, and we're expecting a new baby this year. <laughs> it's our second child. Wow. My mom adopted me at seven, and I grew up in foster care up until then. She had never planned on adopting. She actually had tried to have uh, two pregnancies and wasn't able to. And she spent a year praying, and she had a dream. And in this dream, she kept hearing the phrase, Jacob 5-4. And when she woke up, she opened her Bible to Job 5-4. And it says his children are far from safety. They're trapped in court without a defender. And her first thought was to adopt. And I was actually the first foster kid she got. And she adopted my little brother with me and named him Jacob after her dream. Wow. And I've just had the most amazing parents ever since then. They gave us a whole life we would have never had. They're just amazing people. And she's to me, the most amazing, deserving woman in the world. <laughs> and I know that she would love to see her granddaughter for Christmas. Your story is beautiful. How did they make Christmas extra special when you were growing up? <laughs> <laughs> so me and my mom are Christmas fanatics. Every single year, me and my mom and my dad and brother, but it was really me and my mom, would spend hours, I mean hours, like putting up Christmas lights outside. We were crawling up ladders, crawling on buckets. <laughs> And our favorite thing that we would, that my parents did for me every year was they would give us this Christmas ornament on Christmas Eve that represented something that had to do with us for the last year. And so every Christmas Eve, we would get a brand new ornament. And when we grew up and moved out, we got to decorate our personal Christmas trees with all of our Christmas ornaments from age, for me, age seven on. And it's something that I'm doing now with my daughter and we go crazy with Christmas lights and they always get a Christmas ornament. And I still do to this day. I still get my Christmas ornament. So, <laughs> Oh my gosh. I just love your family. I want to hug them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, Victoria, we love heroes here at Christmas Spirit 105.3. You served our country and you've got this beautiful adoption story. So Fisher Plumbing and Gardner Roofing want to fly your mom home for Christmas. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> this means so much to me. It means so much to my whole family. It's like a miracle. Merry Christmas, Victoria. Merry Christmas.